Hello everyone, Alexis here. Welcome to Wandering Art. So today I am doing a test piece for a larger commission. This was actually my first test piece, and if you saw my last video, that was my second test piece. Now the colors that I'm working with in both pieces are gray, rose gold, and gold. And in the last one, I did the white background, and in this one, I did the gray background. I don't know if I was 100% happy with this one just because I think that colors don't swipe as well over other colors like gray. Um, I think that it swiped better over the white. But these colors really grew on me. It's really subtle and especially if you have it in sunlight, that rose gold really shines. So I did end up really liking it. It's just different than what I had imagined. So the colors that I used, the gray is just a regular white and black acrylic that I mixed up and then mixed with the resin to get this light gray color. The rose gold is rose gold from the Color Cottage. It is a mica powder. And this gold that you see here is pinata alcohol ink. And then I did use some Aluma Dust dark gold. To add, I think I add that um, here in a little bit. You'll, see, you'll notice the difference because it's a lot darker gold. But I just felt like this gold was not really coming out on the gray. You couldn't see it very well, so I wanted to add a darker gold. After I get done with my first set of swipes, I put the crushed glass on. And I just wasn't feeling like it was showing up enough on the gray. I didn't really like the piece all that much. So after I added the crushed glass, I went back with some pinata alcohol ink that I did not mix with resin and then more of the rose gold and I first I used my heat gun to kind of blow it out and then I used the freezer paper to swipe over it again so that is how I got the final piece and there is video at the end and let me know what you guys think if you kind of liked it before I added all that extra stuff or if you liked what I did at the end I just felt like you couldn't really see the colors very well over the gray, and I really wanted that rose gold to show up. So I would really love to know your opinions on this piece, because it's growing on me, but I'm not sure about it yet. If you guys have any questions about my technique or about materials I use, you can ask them in the comment section below. And in the description, I will have a list of materials, materials that I used in this piece and materials that I use on a regular basis. And they'll have links to where you can check out all of those products. And as always, I really appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you for all of the support and all of the feedback on my pieces. This commission piece I probably won't be doing for a week or two. She just gave me a deposit for these two test pieces so we could decide what we wanted to do. So I think that the customer is going to go with this color scheme, the gray background. If you didn't check out my other video, go check it out and let me know what you guys would pick, the gray background or the white background. And you'll notice that I just could not get the cells in the gray background as I could in the white. And I'm not 100% sure why that is. Is that's just the density of white paint or um cuz I it wasn't a special paint. It was both acrylic. The white that I used to make this gray was the white I used for the other piece. So that's a little weird, I thought. I'm not sure how that all works, but I could not get cells in this for the life of me. So let me know what you guys think. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe for more art. And as always, I will catch you all later. Bye.